today. MSI Afterburner isn't canceled. Horrible news for AMD GPU owners. Ryzen 7000 X3D gets an official release date and RX 8000 changes everything. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, there was a recent scare that one of the most popular overclocking tools, MSI Afterburner, could be cancelled. The story came from a forum post on the Guru3D forums, where the developer of the app claimed the project has been semi-abandoned by MSI. According to him, the obligations under their contract have been halted for nearly a year due to war and politics. See, the developer is a Russian nationalist, so it's obviously a reference to the Ukraine war and the sanctions that have been put on Russia. He he apparently worked on it for 11 months after that, but hasn't been happy with everything. So it's been pretty scary as it sounded like it could be over. The developer himself went as far as to say that the project is probably dead. Well, according to a report from PC Gamer, MSI has assured them that they quote, fully intend to continue with MSI Afterburner. That MSI have been working on a solution and expected to be resolved soon. And in another statement to WCCF Tech, they make it clear that they're trying to solve the payment issue. So that's good, but if you're hoping to get support for AMD's new RDNA 3 cards, it may be a while longer. Algorithms, Python, Neural Networks, Search Engines, Astrophysics. These are just a few of the things you can learn right now when you visit today's sponsor. Brilliant, the online learning platform that was basically made for PC lovers because they were built specifically to teach STEM, and that means computer science. What really makes Brilliant so special though is how they teach you. There aren't any long lectures or a bunch of memorization. No, you actually jump in and do it yourself. And the best part is that it's actually fun because they use interactivity to make learning something new feel rewarding. Plus, they have a ton of courses to choose from. Oh, and don't worry, there's learning paths to guide you along so you you don't jump into the deep end too fast. To top it off, you can try it for free when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 of you who sign up will get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt. So check them out today. Next up for today, AMD looks to have yet another major issue with some of their GPUs. In a new video by a GPU repair shop in Germany called ChrisFix, the owner shared some disturbing information, specifically that he's seen a massive influx in dead RX 6800 and 6900 GPUs. According to the video, out of the last 60 RX 6800 and 6900 cards, 48 have died with the same exact issue, with all 48 cards having been received in the last three weeks. As far as the issue itself, it was apparently a shorted SOC and memory rail. What's worse is that the problem can't be fixed. The owner later shared some images of some of the damage, and as you can see, it's bad. I mean, the GPU is cracked pretty badly. He didn't mention what models were affected, but the one card that's shown is a reference model. As far as the cause, we can't be sure, but according to the video, the one thing he found in common with every card is that they use the newest Adrenaline 22.11.2 drive. Now, this is obviously just one repair shop, so this is of course anecdotal. Plus, we haven't heard anything from AMD as they're likely looking into it right now, but it really doesn't look good, especially given the recent issue with AMD's newest 7900 XDX GPUs. Either way, this kind of thing does always take time. And of course, I'll keep you updated on it as new information comes out. So make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on that, as well as all of your favorite PC hardware news. Next up, AMD officially confirmed the release date for their upcoming Ryzen 7000 X3D parts. If you haven't seen the chips yet, AMD is set to release three X3D parts. The 7950X3D, which is exactly what you think, 16 cores and 32 threads. Next is the 7900X3D, which is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. And the 7800X3D, which is of course an 8 core, 16 thread part. When it comes to the date, it was found on the official spec page for the CPU at AMD.com, and as you can see, they're set for release on February 14th. Now, the date has since been taken down, but as usual, that likely means AMD didn't mean to reveal it just yet. But clearly, it's meant for a release on Valentine's Day. The question is whether AMD will make us their Valentine or leave us heartbroken. Of course, with the performance they've shown so far, it's almost certainly the former, especially given they're actually set to come with even less power draw, while Intel will almost certainly be going the opposite 
opposite direction with their 6 GHz 13,900KS. Unfortunately, they still haven't given us any idea on pricing though, so we may need to hold off on judgment just yet. Either way, AMD's upcoming X3D parts are looking more and more interesting. And lastly for today, there's a really big story on AMD's next-gen RDNA 4 GPUs. So that would be their RX 8000 cards. Now, of course, their 7000 cards were just released, but AMD is hard at work on their next-gen already. So early leaks like these do happen, and this one is quite interesting. The story comes from Red Gaming Tech, who went over what he's been hearing about the upcoming cards. For starters, he claims that RDNA 4 will once again not have dedicated compute cores like NVIDIA's Tensor cores. They can still do matrix multiplication, but they're just a part of the regular cores. With that said, according to more than one source, next gen will get double the performance in this type of map. So that's definitely a jump, but that's not the big news. According to the story, RDNA 4 will be going 3D. Apparently, AMD plans to keep the current model where there's a GCD for the GPU and MCDs for the memory. But the big change comes in that GCD. Instead of using one die for the GCD, AMD is apparently set to stack multiple dies on top of one another, meaning this would be the MCM GPU we all have been hoping for. Remember that multi-chip module designs are set to be the future because it allows chip makers to combine smaller, high-yield chiplets into one big chip. This makes scaling up much easier and drastically brings down the price. And while RDNA 3 is an MCM GPU, the actual cores and all of that are on one die. Next Gen would separate the GCD into GCX chips with up to to three coming with Navi 41, and each GCX would have 48 compute units, so that would make Navi 41 get 144 compute units, which is a huge jump over the current number of cores. Basically, next-gen GPUs are already gearing up to be quite exciting. So while that does it for today, what do you think about AMD's next gen? Or are you a bit more worried about the issues they're having with last gen? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermail. And as always, have a great day!